this is your reading for February 2022. So the, what they're showing me for Leo is they're showing me a nun, a nun's habit. And they're showing me you having a, it's, they're saying it's a still month. And they're saying there's a lot of power in stillness. So um, uh, what's unusual about this as well is it's, it's almost entire, completely the opposite energy to what you are. So Leo is about action and it's about, um, you know, it's quite assertive and um, out there. Uh, um, extrovert. But you this month, it's the opposite of that. It's stillness, right? But they have you, they're showing you very watchful. Like you're very, um, they're saying lucid. So very sharp mentally you'll have your eye on something and it feels like you're watchful of that thing that's why there's stillness so let's see what's come out here because this is obviously what it is it's quite a lot of them uh right so we've got the mind connection through the mind eight of swords three of cups which is happiness and joy new road forward this is new to you I feel that's what they're saying like this is something it's like different than you've been before ace of cups which is a one this is about stillness as well and uh, uh, you know this kind of just um, when we're not physical when we're not incarnate when we're not in a human body we are that stillness right because there's nothing to take us away from ourselves and from our well-being there's only that when we're in a physical form, the mind and the emotions that take us away from our physical, our, our, our well-being in the physical, right? But once, we're, once we exit the physical, we're only vibrational and there's nothing that can affect our well-being. And that's the stillness they're talking about. It's like your well-being. Um, Knight of Pentacles, which is healing in the physical. So that's not about something to do with doctors and nurses. It's to do with the stillness. Right, and how the stillness is healing essentially who you are and not just who you are but who you're connected to through the mind so maybe you're watching your own ego this month maybe that's the stillness that you're going to engage with where you're just watching your own thoughts it feels like you're becoming really um really um competent in knowing where your ego lies and what that is there's like a detachment from ego inside of yourself. So rather than being at the will of your ego, where you're like from this thought to that thought and this thought again and in and out of all these thoughts and it being really like it, you cannot find your stability in that, right? It's like you're going to be almost detaching from all of that where you find stability again, which is stillness, which is in the physical, right? Ultimately, that's grounding, so you're grounding this month um, world, which is completion, and then ending in the mind, which is that what they're talking about. So it's like you're coming into awareness of what goes on in your mind and you just, just detaching from it and you finding a better place to be. They've got this um, feeling good here, right? The Three of Cups, which is happiness and joy. But I don't feel like... Um, you're going to be, in, you know, Leo is very like a bright shining light and they like to engage in happiness and joy and they like to do it in a very physical way, mental and emotional way, in a very extrovert way. There's not a lot of introversion in that feeling good and that's your normal mode of operation, right? That you would, that you would extrovert and it makes you feel good because you're out there and you're doing stuff and you're not really engaging with your inner workings. But in that, you know, there's, a, there's always a payoff in feeling good, in, in extrovert. And that's, you know, fundamental to who you are. And in a sense, it's a very, it's, a, it's the great thing about being a Leo is that you're going to, you always reap a lot of reward because you often feel very good. So, you know, you have that come back to you. But this is a different thing that you're going to be engaging with this month, it feels like. Because here is a different road forward, right? So it's an introvert month and a watchfulness of who you are. It's just an, a learning curve in terms of you um, coming into an, uh, just another string to your bow, basically. 
because there's not always a way to go out there and especially I suppose the last two years there hasn't been a way to always get out there and do something to feel good in the outside world uh, so it's had to be about in internal feeling good from a nothing place right with nothing going on so maybe this is for you this is this month it's like you're going to finally get this or you're going to really see it inside yourself it just it feels like a curiosity inside yourself of how your mind works basically and in somehow healing that um healing how you operate just going to add to your potential for for joy and happiness basically because once you understand that inside yourself there's no limit to joy and happiness and there's no limit to what comes from that you don't have to be doing something to feel good you know you can just feel good for feeling good's sake that's that all right so that I'll leave that with um with you Leo if you wanted to get personal reading all my details are in the description box below lots of love See you next month.